Over the last few weeks, my YouTube feed has been flooded with butterfly chicken leg videos. And although a novel idea, I have my doubts that this technique is truly superior to the rest. And I'm gonna find out by testing it with two other chicken leg techniques. <laughs> oh my God. So a butterfly chicken leg is pretty self-explanatory. You take a chicken leg, cut it down the length of the bone, and open up the meat like a book. It's a butterfly chicken on a stick. And there are a few benefits to using this technique. First of all, the meat is flat in comparison to a traditional leg where the meat's kind of balled up at the end of the bone. And because of this, the butterfly chicken leg is gonna cook a lot faster and more evenly. Also, while you're butterflying the leg, you have the option to take out any cartilage, tendon, bone that you just don't wanna eat. And finally, because the chicken leg is splayed out, you can get a really nice sear and crust on the meat side of the drumstick. And if you can get a chicken leg to have a nice rendered and sticky skin on top, and then a crispy, charred, but still juicy meat underneath, I mean, I can understand why people call this the king of drumsticks. But before we can crown a chicken champ, we need to bring in the competitors. And the first alternative is a traditional barbecue chicken leg. So there's absolutely no trimming necessary for this. It's straight ready out of the pack for the next cooking phase. And because I'm a lazy person, this is a huge plus. Another advantage of the traditional style is that the meat is at the end of the leg bone in a cohesive lump. So you can really push cooking it to high internal temperatures around the 180 degree Fahrenheit range and even the 190s. Because it has a lot of fat and collagen in the skin, the meat and the tendons, the meat is gonna stay hydrated and juicy even when we're cooking in these high temperatures so we don't have to worry about it drying out. This will also allow the collagen in the skin and also the meat to completely break down into gelatin and this will give us an incredible bite of barbecue and also the world famous sticky skin wow. that we're looking for. Moving on to the final leg, we have the lollipop chicken drumstick. So just cut around the base of the meat part of the leg and then scrape and peel off the skin and tendons below the meat. Then remove the bones and tendons sticking out of the bottom of the meat and push the meat to the end of the bone to form a ball. And then cut the top of the meatball through the bone so that the lollipop can stand up inside the smoker. So this leg kind of gets the best of both worlds. So it's kind of like the butterfly leg in the sense that you're able to take out all of the tendons and bone that you don't want in the final product. So at the end of the cook, you end up with a really good bite of chicken. But at the same time, it's kind of like the traditional leg because all of the meat is kind of pushed together in a cohesive ball, so it can be a lot more forgiving in the higher internal temperatures. The drawback, however, is that it is an absolute pain in the butt to do lollipop chicken legs. No joke, this one single leg took 10 minutes to cut. But anyways, the legs are ready, so the next step is brining them. Now, because chicken legs only take a couple of hours to cook, it is very important to brine them because we need to make sure that the salt has enough time to penetrate the meat. For ease, I'm just gonna dry brine them so I can just do the seasoning now. That way in the morning, I can just wake up, pull them out of the fridge and just put them on the smoker. Now on to the rub. So I'm starting things out with some coarse grind black pepper. And then I'm gonna add a layer of Heath Riles chicken rub which does have some salt in it, but I'm gonna dilute the salt content even further by adding to the rub some honey powder. So honey powder is one of the main ingredients in my favorite barbecue rubs at the moment, which is Meat Church's Honey Hog. So I'm super excited to make my own rubs with it and also just experiment with all kinds of meat. And if you guys wanna give it a try, you can buy it on Amazon and I'll have a link in the description box. So the chicken legs are ready, so I'm gonna let them dry brine in the fridge and then I'll throw these on the smoker first thing in the morning. So as I said before, the traditional lollipop and butterfly drumsticks all have attributes that make them different and delicious. But in order to take advantage of these unique properties, we need to cook them properly, or at least attempt to. So for all three chicken legs, I will be cooking it on my 250 gallon pit because I'm gonna be cooking a bunch of chicken for a party later on. And honestly, I just love using the smoker. And I will be cooking these chicken legs at 300 degrees Fahrenheit and maybe even a little hotter. So for the butterfly chicken leg, I'm gonna be cooking it until it gets a nice color on the outside, probably an internal temperature of around 107 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm just looking for the skin to be nice, broken down and sticky. Then I'll put a thin coat of barbecue sauce and then move them closer to the firebox to get a nice crispy finish on the meat side of the leg. For the lollipop and traditional leg, I will be cooking them pretty much the whole way through until they reach an internal of about 180 degrees Fahrenheit. And near the end of the cook, I will add barbecue sauce to both of the legs. And I will cook the traditional leg a little longer than the lollipop because I just wanna make sure that all of those tendons and cartilage that I left 
left in there are gonna completely break down. Chicken legs and pretty much all chicken, in my opinion, is completely underrated in the barbecue world. But I think they're great because they're super cheap, they cook really fast, and if you cook them the right way or pretend like I do, then you can get an incredible result at the end. Now the time has come for the taste test. So will the butterfly chicken legs live up to the hype? Let's find out. First up is the traditional egg. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. So clearly juicy. Next up, the lollipop drumstick. Mm. <laughs> and finally, the butterfly drumstick. <laughs> it's really hard to decide which one is the best one. I really like the charred bits on the butterfly drumstick, but the juiciness in the traditional egg was like out of this world. And that's what makes this so hard to crown a king of the chicken leg is because each of these styles had things that I really liked about them and also some things that were lacking that the other legs had. The traditional drumstick was the juiciest, the lollipop drumstick had the best bite, and I really liked the contrast of the crunchy bits and the sticky skin and the tender meat with the butterfly drumstick. But if I had to rank them first to last, for my personal taste, I would say first place is the traditional drumstick, in second place is the butterfly, and then in last place would be the lollipop. This is some of the best barbecue chicken I have ever had, but if you wanna take your chicken game to the next level, then you have to watch the next video on your screen where I show you the secrets on how to make the best chicken breast you've ever had had.